Welcome back, friends. Here we are again. Brand new episode. Um, this time, this week, or this fortnight, I should say, uh, I want to actually share a little bit with you the mission around Art Vance. Because we've had lots of guests on and we've had uh, a whole range of things that we've looked at across many different diverse points of art. We've had a few amazing visual artists on. We've had poets, we've had filmmakers, screenwriters, uh, songwriters, amazing worship leaders that have uh, really influenced the, the, the sound of of worship uh, in both in, in Australia but also overseas as well. Uh, we've, we had Robin Waterman, we've had Brian Dirksen, we've had Wendy Manzo, we've had Grace Bailey, we've had Nathaniel Oliveri from The Normal Christian Life. And so there's so many narratives that have been rushing into uh, this, this space, this little podcast that's just started this year. And you know what, guys, I cannot, I cannot overstate uh, how excited I am uh, about how God is using this platform and what he's doing in me and what he's doing in people who are listening as well. So I wanted to take episode 15 to really focus on the mission and the vision around Art Vance because I don't know if it's been as clear to you, hopefully it has been, that our main focus is we're going after God's heart for the arts industry. That's our focus. So guys, settle in, relax as I share with you some of the mission and vision behind this podcast, but it's more than a podcast. We're going to just jump into that in just a moment. Welcome back to Advance. And by the way, how good is this music? This music is brought to you by our sponsor, Audio Sugar, an incredible stock music creation company giving royalty free resources to creatives of our generation. They're providing solutions that are user friendly and user centered, and they have a massive passion for creatives, and they create all of this amazing stock music within their dedicated studios, which are state of the art. So you are getting high quality resources when you go with Audio Sugar. So keep an eye out for Audio Sugar. Find them on Instagram, audiosugar.x is their username on Instagram. Make sure you go over and follow them. They will Their content will inspire you as a creative to venture out beyond the horizons of what is familiar and enter into the amazing adventures of God for your creative ventures. All right, so as promised, here we are to talk about what is the mission and vision behind ArtVans. ArtVans began as this podcast, and this has been the place where we've had conversations with leading voices in different industries within the arts industry. And, um, you know, really from the outset, I want to share with you about an encounter I had with the Lord last year. I had an encounter with the Lord that woke me up at 2 a.m. in the morning. And all I can say is it felt like there was particles of fire that were circulating through my veins. That's all I can say. It wasn't painful. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't one of those things that was excruciating to experience. It was a very deep place in God's heart that I was feeling for artists. I was feeling this longing to gather these people who are creatives, that are storytellers, actors, filmmakers, songwriters, uh, basically people that come together and paint a, a media canvas for the world to behold. And I was just rocking back and forth as I prayed and I was I couldn't stop praying. I don't even remember what I prayed. A lot of it was just, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, let your kingdom come. You know, a lot of it was so simple, but it was about that deep place that I was experiencing in the heart of the Lord for for the artist community. And it was in that place where I sensed the Lord saying to me, Elliot, I am gathering artists together to redefine the arts and entertainment world. But there's going to be such a strong backdrop or backstory or, or you know, background uh, context of worship where you are going to connect people to their identity as sons and where their life of worship is going to begin to influence and shape 
not just their lives, but their art form, whether it be poetry, songwriting, uh, book writing, fiction writing, TV and film writing, um, actors and performers, and you know all of these diverse places that ha- just hold an immense value of, uh, I suppose, the Renaissance kind of um, uh, dimension of the kingdom of God, because that is a dimension in the kingdom of God. You know, in Exodus, God called uh, Moses to, to craft something powerful. It was, it was to be a, a, a beautiful creation of, you know, to be, be a dwelling place, basically the tent of meeting. And there was one man with other artists, and he was an artist, and his name was Bezalel. And the Lord anointed Bezalel with the very Spirit of God. You know, it's kind of, apart from the beginning in the creation when the Holy Spirit hovered over the, over the waters of the deep, and, you know, man and woman were created, apart from there, that's another other spot early in scripture where the Holy Spirit is mentioned and it's in the the creative dimension it's in the artistry dimension and this just started to really rock my world I just started to really begin to think how can I make room in my life um, for this because I was already beginning to teach in the education sector um, film, media, and screen acting to school primary scale. You know the higher end of primary school aged students, and in that place, I was seeing, you know, how the kingdom of God is central to this. How is the kingdom of God central to the creative arts? How is the kingdom of God central? to you know what we see today in media and entertainment and we can be very quick to judge and say well the 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 kingdom of god is not present there you know um and we can get really uh bitter and really edgy and kind of lose sight of what god's original heart uh was because in the beginning God created, you know, that's when he was first revealed and that's how he was first revealed. He wasn't first revealed as father. He was first revealed as creator. And, and it's because he created, uh, that we get to know him as father. And that is just, just so incredible. And Jesus made that possible. And I give God thanks for that. But sometimes as the church, as Christians, we can become really edgy and, and sometimes not really understanding God's heart for for the arts and and um you know sometimes we can just say artists are overly sensitive and overly obsessed and things like that and we've got to come back to the heartbeat of actually what is in God's heart for the arts we've got to break past our own ideas perspectives biases uh, you know our own poor experiences or bad experiences and and really say god you had an intention and a design when you created the world and you created human beings man and woman in your image you had a design you had an intention and that intention was that we would be created in your likeness in your image and your likeness and therefore we would go on to be creative also it's in our dna as children of god to be creative and so that is the at the heartbeat of it that is the heartbeat of god for the arts industry is it actually you know as wendy manzo coined the phrase and she coined it because she uh it's been so solidified in her since hearing a word from a prophet by the name of rick joiner um it's been so solidified in her heart that the arts belong to the lord and I don't say that in a in a possessive sense. I say that to recapture our perspective of the arts in a hope context. Because if the arts belongs to the Lord, then there is no restriction. Then there is no ceiling. There is no uh, there is no lack. You know, there's no lack of ideas in the presence of God. And I love it. Actually, in the last few years, I find when I've gone into the presence of the Lord and began to worship. It's actually ideas for films that start to rise up within me. And, you know, in the past, like I'm talking 10 years ago, when my focus was just ministry, um, and I'm so thankful to God for those years, uh, but when my focus was just ministry, I'd often have a religious knee-jerk impulse if I started thinking of a film or, um, you know, something around that entertainment kind of sphere, and I'd shut it down and think, get behind me, Satan, you're a distraction, <laughs> and and. And I think at those moments, I reckon the Holy Spirit was saying, Elliot, oh, don't say that, don't say that. Because it is in our times of worship where we are beholding the Lord that He actually scatters seeds in us. 
And it's not just, you know, sometimes beholding the Lord is always more than enough. I'm not saying that's more, more that that's not enough. I'm saying, what I'm saying is the Lord, when we encounter him, he encounters us and we are the place where he plants his seeds, where he deposits his blueprints, when he deposits his affection and intentions for the earth and the redeeming of all things, he plants those seeds in us when we are in his presence. You know, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, Praise be to the God and Lord, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. Now, if you just sit there for a minute, think every spiritual blessing. I don't know how many spiritual blessings there are in heaven, but I know that everything that flows from the heart of God, everything that flows from the Lordship of Jesus, everything that flows from his kingdom is only infinite. There's no, there's no uh, capped supply. There's no expiry date. There's no, oh, we're out of stock on that revelation. You know, everything is infinite when it flows from the heart and the nature of God. And so that is so important for us to remember as creatives. And so I'm going to jump into sharing with you what is the mission and vision of Artvance because it is not just a podcast. It is a podcast and that's where it's begun because God always begins with a voice. But then we go on to really flesh out the mission and what is the goal. Because my friend, what I encountered in the Lord that night at 2 a.m. when I could not... I didn't even think about bedtime. I didn't even think about going back to sleep. I could not stop rocking because I knew I was in the holy presence of the Lord. And and it was the most precious experience that I could have. And I've had those experiences many times in my life, but this was a very specific time. This was a very specific focus that the Lord was sharing with me about artists, about actors and writers, um, and, and people who are, who are collaborating with the Holy Spirit in their creative ventures. Okay, so Art Vance, we are going after God's heart for the arts industry. Why? Because in those moments of His presence... I've discovered in God's heart a narrative that can permeate the industry of art through artists who are yielded in their identity to glory and empowered in their art form. Yielded in their identity to glory. We are yielded to glory. If we are yielded to glory, that is God. God is glory. God is glorious. The glory of God is his nature. The glory of God is who he is towards mankind, who he has always been throughout the eternal realm, who he is as the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the triune God, the Trinity. The glory is the nature of God. Okay, so when we are yielded to God, we're not yielded to lack. We're not yielded to sacrifice. We're not yielded to suffering. You know, we are yielded to glory. We are yielded to the glory of God. And when we are yielded to God, impact takes place. Transformation takes place. Uh, The poor can say, I am rich. The blind can say, I can see. The captives and the slaves go free. Okay, that is what happens when we're yielded to glory. Now, our mission statement, this is how I have currently crafted it, but I've tried to keep it as consolidated as possible. And I'm sharing this with you guys because you've been faithfully following Art Vance uh, since it started. Some of you have started listening in the last few episodes, and I'm incredibly grateful for that. A uh, quick plug for our Facebook group, please go over there because that is a place where we can connect personally and um, and you can receive more encouraging content and small posts that are going to just kind of just remind you you that we are here championing you. There is a grace of God that's being released over your life at this time, and it's a greater portion. God is your portion, and there's a greater portion of grace for your for your assignment. Okay, so our mission statement to inspire listeners. So this is for the podcast, for artists, listeners who are both established and aspiring artists, with the perspective of that God designed their art form as a ministry of his spirit to the human heart. God always designed your art form as a ministry of his spirit to the human heart, connecting the human heart to God in ways that sometimes seem unconventional. (laughs) I didn't write this bit down, but just in ways that are outside the box, 
you know, and sometimes outside our our uh, predictable experiences with Christianity as a faith with the church, you know, so so many of us have have um, you know, experienced both goodness and and not goodness, you know, with with people who are imperfect within the space of the church. And I love the church, and I'm not saying anything against it. I'm part of the church. It's it's bigger than one local church. It's the ecclesia. Uh, as as it, as it was originally scribed in the in the Word of God, uh, you know the ecclesia is is the body of Christ. It is the people of God, and that is that is the amazing outpost of heaven on earth. And when we can when we can partner our hearts with God in a way where we are unhindered by our past wounds, and we're able to forgive, and we can move into that grace of of stewarding the present and building the future, then we, we come to a place of freedom in our own hearts and our own thinking. The second part of the mission statement is this, to gather worshipping artists around the perspective that their art form is holy and is a powerful vessel for God to be revealed through as we yield our lives to the creative wonder and majesty of Jesus. And so within that, that's where the vision begins to flow out. So the mission statement is very you know this is this is the goal is to gather people and to inspire and to and to empower people uh vision is around how is that actually going to play out so one of the th- ways in which that's playing out is the podcast which is already running uh the the second thing is an actors coach program that I'll be that I'm in currently in preparation to launch uh which is geared towards empowering actors who are either uh entering re-entering the the film and television industry or seeking to re-enter um the oh, sorry seeking to enter and to start off with and they're feeling called by the lord i feel called i've never done this but i feel called to do this and i actually have a passion for it and i've actually got some skill and talent that i'd love to share with the world but it's bigger than that you feel a pressing from the lord because there's a mission field that you feel called to. Those people are your people. You love them. There's something that keeps you awake at night thinking about uh, people who are working in that industry who just deserve to have an encounter with the kindness of God. And you feel like you have a burden and your grace in your life uh, to, to take that encounter and be that encounter with Jesus in the simplicity of who you are as a son and a daughter is just going out of obedience, but also in passion, also in talent and excellence of, of gift. And, 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 and my coaching course is focused on developing both the character and the gift and the talent to, to really shine so that you can go in successfully and not have to learn some of the hard lessons when you don't go in with, uh, with some of the planning behind you. So that's another thing that we'll be launching out through Artvance is an actor's coaching program. Uh, the third thing is advancing artists, so a mentoring and collaborative platform network. And the fourth thing is retreats and summits, which we are looking at starting in the next year or two. This is like long-term vision kind of stuff. Um, and beyond that, the Lord could raise up other people within our network that, you know, kind of want to develop forums for advocacy and things like that, which is not really in my ballpark at this moment, but focusing on the podcast, coaching actors, empowering artists and, and getting retreats going is really something that's on my heart for that. Because I believe there's so many people that feel really alone right now in the journey, like they're feeling called by the Lord to learn how to write scripts for television and film or playwright, you know, and, but they don't know where to start and there's not that support there that they could have and so that's what's one of the things that i'm really excited about doing as well um so that's the that's the mission statement and the vision um you know and and that's that's really uh what's driving the building of this podcast and um behind all of it is just that heart from that encounter the lord gave me last year and i've always had a passion for the arts i i couldn't really articulate it when i was really really young um i'll just daydream a lot i don't know how many of you out there are daydreamers by the way if you are don't lose that that is a precious thing that is not like the negative light that we sometimes had cast on it as kids whether oh he's a daydreamer watch out for him or she's a daydreamer it means they disengage from the world but there's actually a whole generation of daydreamers that god's raising up and and he's really wanting to set them apart and um and meet with them in their daydreams and i really believe that and so daydreaming is really important when it's geared in the right direction and with the the right affection 
Um, but it wasn't until I, be, I turned 12 and I'd just struggled through school. I couldn't make it through to even end of year seven. I left in at the end of term three of um of year seven and i just realized i can't do this and and thank god for my parents who were willing to take me home and home homeschool me for the remainder of my school life because it wasn't a great school life and it's an amazing testimony of the goodness and kindness of god that i'm now teaching in a school part-time uh teaching on the subject that probably would have saved my education had i had that subject back then uh film media and, and screen acting because uh, it was when i went home uh, to to homeschooling that that there was space provided where I I started working part time um, and paid off my first camera and, and you've heard some of these stories on some of the episodes where uh, just similar stories um, have come out so um, you know that's always been in me but now is the time for mobilizing and if I can encourage you at all uh, with this is just to mobilize in your thinking and come to a place where you realize. No, I'm called to this. This is actually my calling to be an advocate for kingdom artists to rise in this hour and come into a place of recognizing that my art form is not just, it's not just art. It's not just, you know, uh, cathartic. It's not just for my emotional and mental release. And yes, it does those things. It's not just for my self-esteem. It's not just for this. It's not just for that, but it's actually a ministry of the spirit of God that he has given to you. He's designed it to be a ministry and you are called, you are chosen, you are anointed, you are appointed. Uh, to be an influential representative Je- representative of Jesus <laughs> to the arts industry. And so I really hope you've enjoyed hearing this episode uh, where I've unpacked to you some of the mission, the heart, and the vision behind Art Vance. Uh, and I really hope you can come on the journey as we press forward in, with future episodes that are going to come out in, uh, in weeks and months to come. Uh, but yeah, would you really consider praying and asking the Lord uh, to be a part of helping our journey go to the next level. We need people that are able to donate to this ministry so that we can go and achieve everything God's called this ministry of Art Vance to achieve. It's, it's, uh, it's, there's a big vision attached to it. There's a big mission, uh, and we need all the help that uh, we can get from our listeners and sponsors. And so if you would like to reach out to us and talk to us about what that looks like, I'm happy to chat to you. Otherwise, you can just join our subscription program, which is also uh, a help. But if you want to be able to donate more uh, more effectively and have more of an impact on helping us reach our designed impact as a, as, as a podcast, but beyond that, uh, to be able to create those collaborative platforms and networks where we can come together with a lot of other artists and have lots of encouragement around the table um, concerning our current mission and assignment and collaborate together and synergize, you know, that word synergy of adding our strength to each other, then reach out to us. You can write to us through, you can drop us a voice message. You can also write to us at info at soaringindustries.com and we can uh, we can start chatting about that because uh, more than ever we actually need to see these things funded so that there can be a really creative impact for not just for the kingdom of god but for how the kingdom is going to be represented in the earth through this industry because the arts belongs to the lord so i really look forward to hearing from any of you and thank you again just for even your loyalty and following and uh communicating connecting and i look forward to being with you again soon so stick around guys for the next episode in the next couple of weeks shine bright and i'll see you next time on art Vance.